Hello folks, Seiko Starcraft back, bringing you one of his Protoss ladder games. Get into the Protoss swing of things, you know, digging it. Digging it. I'm going to speed it up here a little bit at the beginning. This is a bit of a longer game. I decided I'm not going to go for some sort of funky, you know, fast, early game, mid game kind of pressure. Play on something a little bit more standard. I'm going to go for my Forge Expand, which I feel very comfortable doing. It's not like I'm going to go and do any punishing or anything. I see him go for a gas first, even before a pool. I'm not exactly sure about that, so I'm just going to go block his hatch and return home. Not too worried. Pool's going down for him. And, uh, yeah. Nothing else too crazy going on in that standpoint. Back at home, getting my wall up, getting my cannon down. I'm a little bit worried, though. Because I figured I would have seen you know, a worker run by if he was going to sneak a different base. It looks like he actually wanted to build a ton of stuff to go for an attack, potentially. Six lings. And going to take that far base over there. Loses one ling. Looks like he wanted to go for some serious pressure. Me being worried about this, I already have a second cannon finished. Wall tight, zealot at the front. So I'm sitting good. You know, I'm sitting alright. Go sit there. Block that off. Now he's going to go after that a pylon there. Back at home, got the gases down, going to start taking those. Hopefully pretty soon. My cybernetics is finished. Once again, I've got terrible timing when it comes to actually doing anything here. My probe will go around and scout for the expansions. Because I'd like to know what is going on. And as I get up here, I'll speed it up just slightly this time. I see... That... I throw down a pylon. That's just for future considerations. And I'm going to sneak around this side. And I get to see that expansion as well as speedlings. There's a lot of speedlings there. I might be somewhat worried about an attack, but not really. If he's going 3 base, not very likely he's coming at me. Got my gas on the way. I'm going to start my upgrades really early. Because I think upgrades for the Protoss are just so devastating. If you can get those out real fast. Back at his base. Banking up quite a bit of gas there. He probably could get on his lair tech if he wanted to. That's a little bit behind. I don't know. After playing a lot of Zerg, I think I deal with this kind of stuff in Protoss pretty well. But watching these Zerg players, I don't know if they get very flustered when these kind of things happen. He did find that pylon. I knew he eventually would. It was just going to be there in case I wanted to maybe do some sort of doodling later. Plus one's about to finish up. I'm actually getting observers. Observers are good. In case people didn't know that. I think observers are good. Building another pile of gateways, warp gates finished. Supply wise, he's got a pretty good lead. Worker wise, he's not his head by as much. My two Nexus is chrono boosting probes constantly. It's helping me out a lot. And I have like no attacking units. Like one sentry, zealot and a couple cannons. So if he did decide to go for a roach bust, probably would have worked. Beh! What are you gonna do? Observer's gonna go see what's going on around the bases. I'm gonna go into immortal production. Because Immortals are the answer to everything, and I'm very happy to see a Roach worn down. His upgrades have not started yet, whereas mine are already in progress. I see very poor saturation at the second. Whereas me behind this, just boosting out stuff. I'm getting my Twilight Council down just so I can get more upgrades, essentially. And I see pretty good saturation at a third. I've just got my two observers. I'm going to park right at the front door, and I'm going to be able to see everything that's coming out of his base. I got pretty heavily supply blocked there for a moment. What can you do? I'm actually macroing a lot harder than I thought I would be. I probably have enough units to safely take a third, but I'm more interested in getting up a really good two base army and using that as a foundation to move out with. Lots of stalkers and immortals. The one thing I'm forgetting in this army that I know I need is sentries. My gas is a little bit taxed right now, so I can't get as many as I'd like. And I need sentries if I'm going to push against this army and try to do some damage. Four more gateways going down. Going to go for some really big two base pressure here. As I'm waiting for messing my cooldowns. Now he's macroing pretty good for an army. Units wise, got a pretty good lead on the workers. Roaches and hydras. His 1-1's one -one's about to finish. My 1-1 one -one is done now. So we're pretty much even on upgrades. I'm making a twilight council. Sorry, not Twilight. A robotics facility. Robo Bay. Bay. And the Warp Prism. Sends his lings down here to deny a third. I have enough army now that I'm going to push around and see if I can take out his third base. At the same time, I'm going to build a Warp Prism 
so I can do a little bit of two side harassment. Lots of money saved up for me and lots of warp gates ready. Speed, I'll just slow back down to regular now. So I see where his army is positioned. I decide I'm going to split up my attack rather than actually just keep reinforcing here. I might have been able to reinforce here and do better, but I don't have my Colossus out right now to be able to do things any better. So I see his army is in place. What I want to do is try to cut it off with a choke. The force fields aren't the best at getting some things taken up out of the way. So the immortals are doing pretty good work. His hydras are cutting through my army pretty bad. At the same time, I've got my warp prism up here. So we trade armies essentially. behind this. I've got more upgrades. His roaches, unfortunately, he doesn't stop them in time. Actually doing pretty good damage to the workers here, but they're a little bit flustered all over the place. So I'm going to focus down the lair. I think this is really smart. Behind this, I'm getting into double Colossus production. And my plus two attack is on the way as well. It looks like I am going to get down this lair. It's a lot of um, one one zealots here, so they're not going to do amazing against these roach hydras. Obviously, we're going to get that queen at least. That'd be nice. Yep. So I do get the queen. He's got a huge supply lead on me after I lose all that stuff. But I did cost him the lair. Whereas me right now, I'm back on this base. I'm going to send some stalkers down because these lings had killed my probes earlier, and my war prism's alive. I'm sure that's pretty flustering for him, but he's. Just about ready to pass me an upgrade to left 2 2 when I've only got 2 1. Stalkers will clean up those links and I'm ready for my next base. And I've got Colossus in production right now, but I forgot my Thermal Lance. And I've got tons of Chrono Boost. I've got Thermal Lance I need to get on top of. I've got this. I've got a pretty. not a big bank like he does, but I've got enough in place there to be able to deal with it. So he's got his 2 2 army. Starting to get out some more sentries and zealots back home. Because I expect him to counterattack. I really do. I was going to warp him behind the base, but he spots it, so I'm running away. This base is now morphing into a lair. And this one's just starting up again. It's pretty mined out, though, so I don't think he's too upset. These are getting a little weak. Going to build a wall off here at the front. Still producing two classes at a time, plus two armor on the way. The good thing about taking out his lair is that he's not already to going towards hive tech and getting 3-3 out. Looks like I wanted to warp in some stuff. I see a huge army there. So I cancel those, which is really neat. And I run away. Save it for sometime later. So he's still got a pretty big army lead, but he hasn't really teched into anything else. That's a lot of roaches he just built. So it looks like he feels... Now's the time to put some pressure on my third base. I know this is coming because of my observers. I've got four Colossus without range. Now it's just time for me to make sure I get my army together and get everything in place for this defense. More sentries that I need. Those are pretty crappy force fields. I'm not really stoked about those. But I couldn't see where my cursor was while I was playing. I decide I'm actually going to put some pressure down on this army. He kills off one Colossus. Doesn't bother me too much. He's losing his army so cost and effectively here. I thought I saw something up there for a second. Looks like he wants to try to kite some zealots. But that really doesn't matter to me. As we see me take a pretty good lead right now in overall supply. Well, he just made it back with 13 roaches. Units wise, 49 probes, 52 drones. I probably could use more probes. Double Colossus production still. 2-2 two -two is finished up. And I'm going to go for a push out a little bit because I want to see if he's getting other bases. But rather than risk my army, I'm actually just going to run around my observers. Let's see what's going on. He's got another pretty good size army out here, 2-2. Two -two. I finally remember my Thermal Lance. 
Realizing I don't have it, I'm going to return home until that's finished because it's one of the most valuable upgrades in the game. In case people didn't know that. I'm chrono boosting nothing right now because I didn't have the resources to be able to get the upgrade I wanted. So therefore I'll just chrono boost a building. I've got access chrono boost. Why not? Fourth base, pretty late for the Zerg player. I'm pretty happy on three bases, like unless this game goes another eight minutes. I generally don't have to really worry too much about expanding a bunch more. Observer just running around, checking things out. He has retaken the supply lead with 15 Hydras. Finally getting grooved spines, that probably would have helped him out a lot as well. Thermal Lance going, moving some probes over. Mm -hmm. I actually need to put some pylons to the front because I realized that I was having a ton of trouble warping in. I'm going to build another warp prism because my two pronged harass worked really well. I speed it up slightly again. Well, we both just kind of mellow. I see that base that's not done yet and saturated, so I'm not worried. The problem with this Zerg player is he macroed up well, but you really need to get out those Corruptors or those Vipers to deal with the Colossus. Some Vipers in play would have done him really good. I do have a lot of Stalkers that are 2-2, and I'm getting Blink and plus 3. But... It still would have mattered more for him to try to pull those Colossus back, because that's what takes me a long time to reproduce. My Warp Prism is finished up in his win position. Looks like he's just about maxed out, so he's just about ready to go and do some sort of tangle. But once again, against the Colossus count, six Colossus, seven Colossus, and an eighth one on the way, it's not like he's going to do super well. I do a small warping up here just to buy myself a bit more time for what I need to do. Zealot's doing a pretty good job, just picking off a few workers. His army comes back, and I run my Warpism away. Now that I know his army is out of position, now I feel free to just move in and attack. Still producing Colossus, mostly. It's like, there's nothing punishing me for doing this. There's nothing, like, I haven't had to even worry about getting Storms, because he's done nothing to mitigate my Colossus numbers. I'm worried about my Colossus getting sniped from the high ground, so I pull back to better position. Now all my sentries are kind of stuck in the back. I do have a Guardian Shield down, but I'm not getting the Force Fields yet that I want. He is move commanding into my army, which is pretty unfortunate for him. Colossus are all bumbling into each other. They look like the Dragoons of old. And we're watching his army just melt. Melt completely. Like, he's barely getting any kills in there. And the army's gone. And now I'm gonna move in to go for my drop. I have, like, 13 gateways, so I was <laughs> totally ready to go in here. I don't know. I was pretty happy with that. A much more standard Protoss kind. I blame the Zerg a bit more for not really adapting to my very straightforward uh, style of play. If he had gone into a spire, I probably would have gotten out my storms and and my just my high templar for feedbacks as well on vipers. But because he didn't, it's simple. I just build the units to counter it, and I'll work out just fine against that hydra composition. You know, plus two now plus three attack losses will just wipe the floor with that. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Shawnee getting better at Protoss, and we'll talk with you soon.